Jeremy, thank you. Are you a country music fan? Well, you may want to purchase tickets to an event this weekend, bringing in some big names in the business to Bristol, Tennessee. ABC Tri-Cities Kelly Getz joins us now live from Bristol Motor Speedway as we get ready for the start of Country Thunder. Those headliners, Cody Johnson, Hardy, just to name a few. Kelly, what else can we expect? Well, currently I'm hanging out by the cold beer tent because I just felt like that's where I needed to be on a hot day like today. Those are some of the vendors that are setting up. There's beer, there's food trucks, there's going to be Mike's Hard right behind me. They've got the merchandise tent and they're setting up the stage. We'll get to that in a moment, but we've got to talk about who's going to be taking the stage. And joining me now with Country Thunder is Megan Benoit. Megan, this is just a long time coming. You guys have been doing this for years. Fourth time here at Bristol Motor Speedway. What is in store this time around? Yeah, we, I mean, we started four years ago, like you said, it was a one day event and we've just kind of gotten bigger and better each year. So the big change this summer was that it is in the summer. So beautiful weekend, but yeah, Cody Johnson, Hardy are headliners this weekend and both of them are really at the top of their game right now. So a uh, huge lineup. Big change from the fall. If you guys have been to a previous Country Thunder, you know it's either been rainy or chilly. I am not a chilly fan. Summer, this is a summer concert. That's what it feels like to me. People coming out, they got to take some precautions, though, and there's some changes with seating. Talk about that. Yeah, last year we introduced uh, the lawn chair policy where people can bring their lawn chairs into general admission, set up a spot down here. Um, we're going to bring that back again this year. It's a great option, especially like you said, it's going to be hot out, so people have those options to sit. We also have part of the grandstands that will be open, so um, that is something that people can bring with them. We've also got, like you said, it's going to be hot, come prepared. We have our bag policy, bring a clear bag um, or a small clutch. Review those policies on our website before you get down here. Now this is a two day concert series, so you can come Friday, you can come Saturday, you can come both days, whatever you want to do. Tickets still available for all of that. How can they get tickets and what's the best information? So countrythunder.com is going to have all those ticket options available. We do have a partnership with Walgreens though, so if you want to get that general admission either single day or weekend, head over to Walgreens and you'll save some money there. Talk about some of the vendors here. I mentioned we do have like drinks, we have food on site, but what are you most excited for? We have some really great, this is going to sound terrible, I'm really excited for some of our alcohol sponsors this year. That's fine. We've got a really great variety this year. Um, like you mentioned, Mike's Hard, we've got a new wine partner. So um, some really cool activations that these uh, liquor providers put on, some sampling as well. So if you are over 21, uh, have some samples and figure out what you like and, you know, tons of options. Well, you know, it is a country concert after <laughs> all. What would it be without alcohol? But of course, we want you to drink responsibly, especially in this heat. So Friday, when does music start when does it end and let's kind of walk through the same thing for Saturday because we want you to know that this is really an all day dedicated event you can pop in when you want but you're going to buy the tickets you might as well stay for the whole thing. Absolutely. I tell everyone that you know there was a point where Hardy and Cody Johnson were a two o'clock act and you know they're headliners now so come check them out uh, the music does start at two o'clock both days we're going to open this area at one o'clock so you've got an hour to kind of find a spot that you like uh, check out the vendors before the music starts parking's going to open at noon each day. Now parking opens at noon and if you've been to an event of the Speedway, you know it could get a little bit hectic out there on Volunteer Parkway or 394. So you'll want to come a little bit early, be ready and be patient. What other tips should people have if they plan on heading out? Definitely uh, check out our website. We've got that information page that just has all the details that you'll need. If you're camping, we're going to open a day early. So check that out and those spots, you know, if you've reserved in medallion or tent camping, it's going to be first come first serve. So come early set up in advance. That way you're you're ready to go. Well, we're looking forward to it. And like you said, a lot of these performing acts, these headliners, they were earlier acts in the day. So we're going to talk more about who else is going to be here. And we're going to take a closer look at the setup because a lot goes into the work here. We actually saw Casey Marler's son. He's putting some elbow grease in here, getting some work done. Well, we will check in here at Country Thunder in a little bit later on in the newscast, but we're going to send it back to you as we head into a commercial break.